Happy people. Here we are again to work on the Arun Arun um, and finish off um, the sequence by looking at the second figure step. So, very brief recap. Recap point A is always, I trust that you have done some warming up. Feet, ankles, knees, hips, wriggle around, stretch the sides. And please do more than five seconds as I've just done there. So you've done a nice little warm up. So you're not going to strain or shock any of your joints by rushing into anything. And we have worked so far on a chorus step and what I call figure one step. And I explained in the last video that the dance consists of a sequence which goes, there's two, there are two figures, we haven't yet worked on the second figure. Chorus figure one, chorus figure two, chorus figure one, chorus figure two. And very often um, it is traditional in a bowl setting that um, the musicians would start playing the Arin Arin and you would actually just let the first chorus go by or you would sort of rather half-heartedly just be kind of getting yourself ready. This is partly because you might still be desperately catching your breath after the uh, high energy fandango which we just have been doing before. Um, so, chorus was step, place, shift your foot under, step, place, shift, point, point, step, place, shift. And we did that four times. And the figure one step, this is the most basic of revisions, there were two versions of it that we looked at. And the first version was a schematic simple version, which was step, step, turn, place, step, step, is a pivot turn place. And the turning direction is towards your partner or towards the people on the other side of the little circle you're dancing in. Or in the case of, say you're practicing now, it would be towards what you're looking at on the screen. So we would not be turning step, step, and then turning away from our partner, the people in the circle, the screen. That's a very good rule of thumb. If in doubt, at some point when you're learning and practicing, and you're not sure which way you should turn, turn towards the screen. Okay, so the second version of that step was step, step, ball, place, ball, change, and then step, swivel, and place, all in one. So that was a, a more um, intricate version that gets you to the same result in the end. The other thing that I didn't really talk about last time was this comes naturally if you're doing the dance in the sequence of the dance, but say you're just wanting to practice this step and you'd say, okay, I'm going to go that way. Which foot do I start with when I'm going that way? Well, again, you have to think of an imaginary partner, the screen opposite you, or an imaginary circle. And in this instance, the imaginary circle is the most useful image in your mind because what you do is you start with the foot that is on the exterior of the circle that you're dancing on. So it's going to, if I'm facing that way, that's my exterior foot and I'm going to go, that'll be my one, two, ball change, turn. And again, I am going to go one, two, ball change, and I am not going to turn outwards and end up like that. I am going to do one, two, ball change, step, and turn inwards like that. So if you get confused and muddled, those are the reference points, I would say, that as we go from side to side doing that figure step, that you start with the foot that's on the exterior of a notional circle, and that you turn inwards towards the centre of that circle or towards the person facing you, who in this case is the screen. Okay, so having, having I hope, um, helped you to find some clarification and reference points there, the second figure is made up of the same step as the first. Hold on, I'm going to cough. <coughs> <coughs> Don't worry, it's an old cough. It's not a new cough, it's not dry, it's not persistent. I don't have coronavirus. I've been coughing like this for three years, sadly. Okay, so, step, step, ball change, turn. We did that, we did seven of those, and on the last one, well, having done the seventh, it, which would have been to the same side, 
We did a linking tone step which went one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm sure you'll remember all this clearly, trying to do the majority of the turn in the first one, two, three, bringing the free leg round. So I was going one, carry the foot round as far as possible, two, three, one, two, three. Same thing if I were going in the other direction and I were turning that way, I'd go one, two, three, one, two, three. Do most of the turn on the first one, two, three, finish on the second one, two, three. Okay. The second figure, what we do there is, we do one of those figure steps. Yes, I'm going to go this way. Step, step, two, three, turn. Immediately followed by a linking turn, which will turn me back to face the front again, to face the opposite. One, two, three, turn, two, three. But in fact, I'm going to let myself overturn slightly because then I'm going to go the other way because this leg is now free. So I'm going to go one, two, full change, step, turn, step, turn, step, turn. Now I go that way. One, two, full change, turn, step, two, three, turn, two, three, one, two, full change, turn, turn, two, three, turn, two, three. If you're not doing the more intricate version of the step, you can do step, step, turn, place, turn, two, three, turn, two, three, step, step, turn, place, turn, two, three, turn, two, three. The whole figure consists of four of those because we've got eight um, times through the figure step, but we're using them up. Figure step, turning step, figure step, turning step, figure step, turning step, figure step, turning step. So that is the second figure. And then we would go back to the chorus. So what I propose now is I will find the slow music and we will practice this new second figure step, which consists of going to the side, turn back to place, up to the other side, turn back to place. Try and keep your Displacement sideways, small and neat. In the real dance, you would want to keep that as small as possible. It's not a huge sideways and back, sideways and back. It's actually really small and neat. And obviously, the more people you're dancing with, the smaller and neater you'll have to keep it. But also, the speed demands that you can't go, you can't take big steps. Right, music. first figure, we have the chorus, we have the second figure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the music, the slow version of the music, and just dance through, and I'm going to dance through in that sequence, chorus, first figure, chorus, second figure, um, and so on, several times, and um, please follow along, and um, if you need to, of course, uh, if it suits you better, you can use the same piece of music to practice one particular part of it. Uh, so this is just a multi-purpose practice session at this stage. Okay, good luck. Here we go. I'll just go and find the music. So I'm going to start by stepping onto this leg. Here we go.
that I'm demonstrating but I'm not saying. And that is in this more intricate version of the step, of the figure step, you've got step, step, or change, turn, step, turn. And I would like you to try to take account of the fact that those first two steps should have as full a value as possible. So you go step, step, and then you do a ball change, step pivot, and, and uh, neatly bring your heel across. Step, step, ball change, step turn. And the reason, I'm, what I'm trying to differentiate is from a situation where you would go, step, one, two, three, turn, step, one, two, three, turn. It's not that, there are two distinct steps, and then this little shuffling ball change, step turn. So you try to bring the ball change back towards count three. So it goes one, two, and three. Sorry, I didn't dance that properly. One, two, and three, four. Not one, two, and three, four. It's one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Keep it light and bright. And that timing will change, will, will, that sense of timing will help you not to let it become a heavy one, two, and three. It's not, it's not two and three evenly spaced, it's two and three. So that is worth mentioning while you get your breath back. Um, I think, I think I need to put on the faster music and we just need to do our best with it. You, of course, can just continue to sit and breathe or you can pick one piece of the dance that you want to try and dance faster. But, you know, the opportunity is there. I'm going to start by stepping onto this foot. Oh. 